Good afternoon, it's Andrew Smith from Royal LePage Kelowna. It's Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. Welcome to Coffee with Andy at Sol de Cuba Cafe. Um, <clears throat> what a great place for coffee, what a great place for lunch. The music's loud and everyone's nice. Great takeout business there. We sat there and had lunch Been there for about a half hour and it was just a steady stream of people coming in and getting their little plastic bags with great big grins on their faces. Um, likely mostly coming from the thousand or so condominiums uh, down here but yeah what a what a gold mine of a spot uh, those guys have there live music uh, for sure the last weekend the last Saturday of the month um, but also intermittently they have them on, on Saturdays as well but yeah I highly recommend Sol de Cuba why you came um, no smoke hey uh, kind of windy if I had more hair, you would really notice it, but it is kind of uh, it is kind of windy out. That's a blessing and a curse. Uh, the, the, the good news is with wind is that the smoke gets pushed out of our valley. Bad news is it's tougher uh, to fight forest fires when there's when there's wind, obviously. So it's uh, but it is nice to be able to breathe. You certainly uh, feel for the, the people who are out uh, fighting these fires. They don't they don't like wind. We all we redefine what it, what nice weather is these days. Rain is something you uh, you certainly look forward to. <clears throat> Real estate stats: um, 173 residential sales in August. It's not good. Uh, August of 2022, last year there were 184. That wasn't particularly good either. I think August just is one of those months where there there aren't a lot of real estate sales. They um, tend to have busy springs, busy falls. Um, when you get to the end of summer, people uh, people are doing other things. They're on vacation. They're getting kids ready for school. They're just uh, they're just not that interested in uh, in buying or selling houses. The fact of the matter, obviously, is there's a fire through our town for the past two weeks, making insurance difficult. But we covered that last week. Um, that's getting better. All evacuation orders uh, and and alerts have been rescinded for the Kelowna side of the lake on the side of the bridge including McKinley and, and Lake Country. Um, the west side still have still have some challenges in parts um, but it is slowly getting uh, getting back back to normal. It's not top of mind unless you're out of your house I would say. I know that might seem insensitive to some people who are, are out of their houses but um, it's uh, you know things are slowly normalizing normalizing here. Um, I think that just to, the only interesting thing I, I nugget I found is that the chasm between condos, let's call them townhouses and apartments and residential houses, is uh, is dwindling. Went back just ten, 10 years ago. Um, residential was sixty three percent of the overall housing market, and in ten years, it's dwindled down to fifty one percent of the housing market. There's there are just so many more. Uh, apartments being built, sold, and then resold and resold again. That it's just paying. It, it's it's beginning to um, play uh, an even almost an even more significant role than than residential is. Largely also due to the cost of land. Um, you know, it's getting really really difficult to own a single family residential detached house anywhere in Canada. Probably more so here. But it's um, yeah, it's uh, a lot of people are making the swi switch to condo living down here thanks for watching um, see you see you guys next week uh, welcome back to school everyone drive safely today thank you for watching